Switzerland. The world's oldest republic has lived in peace for more than a century and a half. But all good things coming to an end, that peace was abruptly shattered. The invading army, an international assault of thespians, a blitzkrieg of movie makers, Excuse me, sir. Commander Bond to see you. Shame in. Aye, sir. The film responsible for the Alpine attack is on Her Majesty's Secret Service. In it, George Lazenby makes his screen debut as Agent 007. Unusually small for an Imphalus Polychlorus. In James Bond, author Ian Fleming created a character of mammoth proportions. Secret agent, defender of freedom. Don Juan, a super-ego who transcends mere human form. However, a human form is necessary to portray Bond on the screen. Following the greatest talent hunt since the search for Scarlett O'Hara, George Lazenby becomes James Bond on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Sorry, ma'am. What kind of a man is James Bond? I think he's a little bit of every man. Or at least every man thinks he has some of James Bond in him. What kind of a man is George Lazenby? The same as James Bond. A new 007. 1039 take three! But the same international production team that made the Bond films a 20th century phenomenon, produced by an American, Albert Broccoli, and a Canadian, Harry Saltzman, and directed by Englishman Peter Hunt. Filming became a military-like operation as ambitious and inventive as any of Bond's fictional exploits. For three months, the cast and crew occupied a tiny corner of Switzerland, taking full advantage of every possible Alpine excitement, while adding a few Bondian thrills of their own. The international atmosphere of the production can be sensed everywhere, from the crew to the cast itself. Lazenby is Australian. The girl Bond marries, Diana Rigg, is English. This was a mammoth production. I mean, an epic. And I've never done an epic before. And I rather wanted to know what it was like to be in an epic. You know, whether I'd be a sort of a victim of the machinery or whether I'd be able to emerge as myself. I, I don't know. It, it, it was a, a challenge to me, and that, that's why I did it. The film's arch-villain is portrayed by American star Telly Savalas, while German actress Ilse Steppert and Italian star Gabrielle Fossetti head a list of supporting players from around the world. Katarina von Schell from Hungary. Silvana Henriquez from Jamaica. Helena Rone from Israel. Mona Tong from Singapore. Zara from Kashmir. Jenny Hanley, London, England. Julia Eger, Norge. My name is Yuri Baryanko. I born in Minsk, that Soviet Union. The Bond Production Army added a few landmarks to the Swiss mountainside. The most important addition was a mountaintop fortress constructed on the peak of the 10,000-foot Schilthorn. When the film army withdraws, they will leave this installation as a permanent part of the Alpine scene, unlike another set, a sinister secret laboratory. When filming here is finished, this $100,000 complex will be of value only to junk collectors. The fuse is set for exactly five minutes and ten seconds time, and the whole place will be sealed off forever. Mm. Will that give the Englishman time to get out? He knows this kid. Like any army, the Bond production team requires many specialists. 
One is world-class champion skier Willie Bogner Jr., probably the only man here who can't see where he's headed. Bogner skis backward with a handheld camera to help cover the many alpine chases in the film. Austrian racing driver Eric Lovitzer supervises a furious stock car race. A race staged on a track of solid ice. Stunt director George Leach commands the kamikazes of the production. Uh, so far we've done two fights with a new James Bond and he's a really a good man at action. We're not allowing him to have any doubles. He's got to do all the fighting himself. He's going to do everything the hard way and he'll do it very well. Well, I do my own stunts mainly because the director wants me to. He feels, and I also agree with him, that it'll look better and they can go in closer on you when you're doing your own stunts. I enjoy some of them, but they can be a bore, like punch-ups can be a bore unless they're a real punch-up. You know, it's uh, standing there running through the same routine over and over again. It's like uh, I don't know, planting potatoes all day. It's... The action. The women. The excitement. The world of James Bond has invaded Switzerland. And in the climax to the assault, 150 years of Swiss peace is shattered by the force of 007. have gone. Peace has returned to Switzerland.